dioxygen in the laboratory it is prepared from it is prepared from heating chlorates nitrates and permanganates let us have some examples which reactions yields for the preparation of dioxygen in the laboratory KClO3 potassium chlorate when heated it releases to KCl potassium chloride plus 3O2 similarly when potassium permanganate KMnO4 heated to produce K2 Mn O4 plus Mn O2 plus O2 here in the laboratory this is the one method to produce dioxygen similarly in one more method the dioxygen produced from catalytic dissociation of catalytic dissociation of hydrogen peroxide H2O2 once again hydrogen peroxide which is available in liquid state in the presence of catalysts like manganese dioxide it dissociates to produce oxygen molecule or which is also called as dioxygen similarly some metal oxides metal oxides upon heating they are also produces for example silver oxide by precipitating silver it yields the production of oxygen gas or dioxygen similarly some more metals are also metal oxides upon division they release as dioxygen or oxygen gas next in large scale in large scale dioxygen produced from it is produced from produced from air and water so let us learn when water is allowed for electrolytic process that means dissociation of water molecule takes place in the presence of current when water is allowed for electrolysis process or electrolytic process dissociation of molecule in the presence of electricity so electrolytic process hydrogen gas releases at cathode and oxygen gas collected at anode so this is the method to release dioxygen from water so water generally dissociates to produce hydrogen gas and oxygen 
generally hydrogen gas evolved at cathode and oxygen gas released at anode similarly in the laboratory the best way to produce dioxygen from air by using by using air we can produce dioxygen in large scale in the industry purpose or commercially how it is possible to isolate air as we know that air is a mixture of oxygen nitrogen water vapor carbon dioxide carbon monoxide a traces of inert gases so here first in the method to isolate dioxygen from air first from the air carbon dioxide and water vapor eliminated out water vapor eliminated out in the preliminary step and after this dioxygen and dinitrogen gases okay dioxygen and dinitrogen gases are distilled off distilled off to produce or the released dioxygen from air will be collected in closed container so this is how to produce dioxygen once again the dioxygen will be represented as o2 it is also called as oxygen molecule or dioxygen because when two oxygen atoms reacts with each other or combines with each other to produce oxygen molecule via a double bond so the bonds present in oxygen molecule in between two oxygens are two one is sigma bond and one is pi bond here this dioxygen or oxygen molecule generally produced from heating of chlorates nitrates per permanganates some examples here and next catalytic dissociation of hydrogen peroxide in the presence of some catalysts can release hydrogen gas whereas some metal oxides which are lower in series and which are having high oxidation states so dissociates to produce oxygen gas similarly in large scale quantity a dioxygen gas produced from air and water so in the laboratory when water is allowed for electrolytic process the dissociation of water molecule takes place in the presence of electricity or current and release of hydrogen gas absorbed at cathode and the release of oxygen gas at anode so next one in industry the best way to produce huge quantity of dioxygen from air first in this process the carbon dioxide and water vapor present in air will be eliminated out followed by by using distillation process that to fractional distillation process it is possible to produce dioxygen and dinitrogen gases separately from air the released dioxygen and dinitrogen gases are collected in separate containers so this is the preparation of oxygen dioxygen